Hey, Chad here from Grayscale Gorilla, and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick start into HDRI Link for Redshift, specifically HDRI Link Plus for our Plus members. Okay, so let's get started. We've got a Shimano bike pedal, a wall of Shimano bike pedals floating in the abyss here, and we're going to get some HDRI lighting going on these guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is jump into my Redshift menu and go down to Lights and grab a Dome Light. All right, so with our dome light created, we need to add our HDRI Link Plus tag. And there's a bunch of different ways that we can do that. We can just come over to the Tags menu here and select HDRI Link Plus. We can also right click in here and get to the same thing and do it right in here as well. Or you can come over to the Grayscale Gorilla menu and hit HDRI Link Plus. And the third and probably the coolest way to do it is to use the commander, which is Shift C. And then just type in HDRI Link Plus, boom, there you go. Now that that's added, we need to connect our Redshift dome light up to our HDRI Link Plus tag. And the way that we're going to do that with the light selected is we're going to come down here into the attributes and find our dome map parameter. And we're just going to drag that right onto the HDRI Link tag, and then we're going to let go. And you can see we've got a connection because the tag goes from gray to white. And we now have a bitmap showing up here, which means that we've got a good connection. All right, so that's all connected up and good to go. The next thing that we need to do, uh, wait, one quick note before I move on. If you want to be able to see that HDRI in your background, you can enable the background right here. If you don't, you can just turn that off. Anyway, okay, so now we need to open up the Plus Library and check out all the awesome HDRIs that we have at our disposal. There's a couple of different ways you could do that. The easiest way is to probably just double click this tag and it's going to open up the Plus Library. So let's just do that. There it is. Another way you can do it is to actually click on the tag itself, go under the base tab and click on open plus library. And it's gonna do the same thing. Another way is to come over to the Grayscale Gorilla menu and say uh, plus library right there. And then the third way, uh, maybe that's the fourth way, I lost count. Hit shift C, bring up that commander again and type in library and there you go. Cool, so let's dock the library down here at the bottom. And let's bring this all the way up to the top. So, um, Right away, you can see we've got a lot of HDRIs in here, and we're adding more all the time. So there's tons of cool stuff in here to choose from. We'll start with this one. And the first thing I want to do when I'm working with HDRI Link is probably work pretty fast to kind of choose something that I like. So I'll grab that tag, and I'll hit the Advanced tab, and I'll change my resolution from Full to Preview. And what this is going to do is it's going to make it much faster to kind of click around and try different ones, not having to load that giant HDRI. So I usually change this to uh, preview, and if you wanna set that as the default, you can just come right over here and say set as default, and it's going to change that as my default. I'm not gonna do that right now. All right, so with that set as preview, we're ready to open up our Redshift render view, and let's throw that into the side here. I'm just gonna dock that off to the side, and let's go ahead and start it up. Take a look. Cool, so with the tag selected, I'm going to just start clicking around and looking for an HDRI that I think looks cool. Oh, that one's actually pretty cool. Maybe I'll, I'll bring the exposure up just a little bit, not a whole lot. And maybe try one of these. I know there's one inside of Modern Industrial that I use all the time. It's these office ones that I really like. This one's pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. Okay, cool. So yeah, I mean, you're just bouncing around trying different ones. Maybe we'll try some outdoor ones. Uh, sunny day, maybe. I don't know. Maybe we try Pro Studios Metal, which are kind of perfect for this one, actually. These are made to look make uh, metal really look awesome. Uh, right off the bat, I'm digging that one. Maybe we want to rotate a little bit. Let's grab that light, and we'll rotate that a little bit off to the side, maybe. Get that highlight going, a little bit of a background. Cool. And again, like you can come over to that dome light uh, and just grab the general tab and turn off the enable background if you don't want to see it back there. But yeah, I mean, it's really simple. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, HDR Link is just kind of made to go fast. And of course, you know, I'm working in preview mode. And if you want to render this out for real, maybe you want to switch it back over to full and you're good to go there. And of course, if you delete this tag, you're going to be left with whatever the last map that you chose. So if I delete that tag, nothing happens. We're all good. It's just going to load that image in for you right there. So, um, yeah, that about wraps up our quick start for HDRI Link in Redshift. Um, be sure to check out all the other awesome training we have for uh, HDRI Link and uh, area light maps and all that other stuff. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.